Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm having fun. My name is Valerie Sutton. This is my office. I live in California, but it's at nighttime. I have never done a video at nighttime before. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. It changes the whole atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, it is July 2018, and I live in San Diego, which is right near Mexico, actually. It's a lovely area of Southern California. It's been really hot today. Ooh. Anyway, guess what? My good friend and co-worker named Adam Frost is flying to Brazil. And he's flying there on Tuesday, and today is Sunday. So that means it's just in a couple days. It's very exciting. I hope you have a wonderful trip, Adam. Enjoy your trip to Paraná. Is that how you pronounce it? How exciting is that? Adam is going to be teaching sign writing, and we feel very blessed. You see, back in 1974, I invented originally sign writing. But over the years, things keep spreading, and things have changed and evolved and improved because there are so many people using sign writing around the world. A real writing system, which is what sign writing is, is only useful if it's really, really used by a lot of people. So the sign writing script has grown and evolved and over the years spread. And it's now used in over 40 countries. We use that number, but it's actually more like 50. And there are individuals in some of those unusual countries writing their sign languages with the same script. But of course, it's a different language in every country and in every region for that matter. Sign writing is a series of symbols, like an alphabetic uh, system, that is used to write body movement. We write any kind of body movement. Uh, originally, I started writing dance. So there's a system called Sutton Dance Writing. That's my invention, too. Sutton Movement Writing also is another name we use to write body movement in general. We can write sports. We can write anything, anything that moves. Right now, my hand's moving like this. We can write that movement with the symbols that I invented. And then we apply it to writing the different sign languages of the world. And since you know your language, you know Libras, I don't know Libras. I obviously live in the United States and uh, the little sign language I know are, are American signs. So that's why it's important that you, who are the experts in Brazilian sign language, learn the symbols of sign writing, but then apply that to writing your language. So nobody's telling anybody how to sign. That's your business. You just use the symbols to write down what you already sign. And Adam Frost is an expert in American Sign Language. He uh, is a deaf person who is a professor of American Sign Language at San Diego State University and other universities and colleges within this area. And Adam is also an expert on sign writing. And he is the ASL editor of the ASL Wikipedia. So we actually write articles in encyclopedias, namely Wikipedias, in written American Sign Language using the sign writing script. And um, also, um, Adam has been teaching sign writing since, and using it since around 2004 when we first met. Sign writing is free on the internet. You can use it freely right now. You can go up on Steve Slavinsky's software called Sign Puddle Online, which is outstanding software that's used all over the world. Uh, we have many different files available for people in all kinds of countries, and Brazil is one of them. And uh, so the Sign Puddle for Brazil Online is used um, all over the country of Brazil already. And there's a pretty large dictionary of Libris signs already written online in Sign Puddle. Uh, also, there are literature uh, files. For example, people have already translated some of the portions of the Bible in Libris. I was just discussing that with somebody from Brazil on the Sutton Sign Writing Discussion Group on Facebook the other day. So I know it's true because I looked it up for them. <laughs> we also have, for example, the entire New Testament. Uh, translated into American Sign Language by Nancy Romero, who uh, did a beautiful job writing it in sign writing, and we have published books on that. So there are many possibilities, and when you learn sign writing with Adam this July 2018, I just know that you are going to find a whole 
world of written literature at your fingertips that you yourself can write as well as choose to read. And let me tell you, we donated some books. And let me find them. Oh, here they are. <laughs> um, this book is a book that I wrote years ago. It's called The Sign Writing Basics Instruction Manual in English. And a friend of mine from Portugal translated it into Portuguese, the actual spoken language in the book. Um, so your, your version that you're getting will be in Portuguese. Of course, the actual sign language needs to be someday translated and written into Brazilian Sign Language because right now the examples in the book are in American Sign Language, but maybe you can help me with that. That's the very thing. If you want to show me your, your examples, I could make a Brazilian version of this book later. So right now, you're getting it in Portuguese. And we also have donated uh, and asked Matson to print these beautiful books. Uh, it's called Escrita de Sinaisa Misterios, and it is a book written by Matson and Raquel Barreto, and they are in, obviously from Brazil, and this book is quite a, an important one in the history of sign writing because they have um, taught the entire writing system in Portuguese and with examples from Brazilian Sign Language, of course. So we hope I realize that the light is probably not good enough for you to see this very well, but we hope that when you receive these books during your classroom experience that you will use them and learn from them. Now, I want you to know that I care about you. It's exciting to me and to everyone who uses sign writing that there are others learning the system. So if you are interested in it when you start learning it and you find it to be valuable, contact me and contact those who already use it. There are several ways to do that. First of all, you can join the Sutton Sign Writing discussion group on Facebook. Um, you can also join the Sign Writing List, which is an email list. And there have in the past been many people who really discussed lots of important grammar questions and important questions about symbols themselves on the sign writing list and I'm happy to answer the questions and so is Adam and so and Steve Slavinsky is glad to answer questions about his software sign puddle online. Steve has encoded sign writing so that it can be used all over the world and is in Unicode because uh, Steve Slavinsky worked with the Unicode committee to make that possible so we're very grateful to Steve and to everybody who develops software for sign writing. There are many software developers out in the world who have done that already too. So we also want you to know that you can contact me. My email address is sutton at signwriting.org and there is a website signwriting.org. Go, go there and you can download books. You can go to the lessons section. There are these little icons up at the top. It's kind of an old-fashioned website, something I designed years ago. But you can get used to it. You get used to little icons and you click on an icon like lessons <laughs> and that takes you to books and places where you can download free things. We have a lot of free things up on the web so you don't have to put out a lot of money to learn sign writing. It's freely yours. We give it to the world as our gift. So thank you so much everybody and I look forward to hearing from you and don't forget to write, okay? Okay, bye-bye.